What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the final episode for the Morrigan Fusion. What do you guys think? Do you think we got it? Leave it in the comments down below right now before I even let you know. But if you've been following the episodes for the Morrigan Fusion on my account, you know that I'm 100% free to play on this account here. Um, I do have another account, actually I have two other accounts, and I'm also doing a series right now for commons and uncommons only series. So consider checking out that series I have going on. I'm going to try to use commons and uncommons. I've mainly been using uncommons so far, but I'm going to try to utilize some more common champions as well to go throughout the game and see how far I can progress and start taking on people that are high in higher stages of arena and tag team arena as well. So seriously, check it out. You might actually like it. All right, so with the Morrigan Fusion, did I make it? Yes or no? The answer is yes. I did make it. I've got everything ready to go. Here we are. We've got all of our Priest Orns, which is really sad to see all these Priest Orns going in here, right? Because I wish I could save a copy. And it's really annoying that Larium didn't allow us to get a copy of the Priest Orn. It also would have made this fusion a lot easier uh, to succeed. I don't know why they did that. This is probably the hardest fusion they've had to date, I feel like, because in other fusions, I'm pretty sure they at least allowed us to go for an epic. Yeah, this has to be the hardest one we've ever done. Mm, leave it in the comments down below. Do you guys think that Helicath was harder or another fusion was harder than this one? I feel like this was one of the hardest one, maybe the hardest one they've ever done. So without further ado though, Let's fuse more again. I'm super excited at getting her. Did you guys go for her? I mean, I went for her. I think she's going to be great. Uh, I just know it. I just feel like she's going to be a big use on this account, on this free to play account. I'm definitely going to be utilizing her in Tag Team Arena because I'm still working on that stupid mission to get into Silver 4 Tag Team. You know, it's super annoying. I just, I'm getting tired of it, to be honest. I did get some energy from here, which is nice, from the Champion Chase, I think. Yeah, Champion Chase. Get champions from any means necessary. Is anybody actually going for this? I mean, clearly people are because, wow. I guess people really want Mortal Soul Stones. I feel like for the end game users, this would be more necessary to go for than Sacred Shards for them because they already have pretty much every legendary in the game or majority of the legendaries that they need to complete the game so for a lot of end game users this makes sense why they'd be going ham on this and trying to get this eternal soul stone which I believe is just like uh, epic or legendary similar to a Sacred Shard except you get a chance to get a 5 or a 6 star awaken or blessing which is pretty pretty sick so I'm going to collect this energy. I'm going to put that towards getting some savage gear. You guys really should be going for savage gear if you're early, mid game or late game. Even end game players are probably still going to be going for this savage. I mean, you can never not have enough savage gear on your account because a lot of times you're going to end up getting at least hopefully, well, hopefully at least one piece that is going to change some of the champions on your account and going to benefit your account even more. So right now we have one day, 16 hours left for the Fire Knight. And the other thing is, not only are they having the two times chance to get Savage gear, they're also giving us a chance to participate in using only champions from the Demon Spawn to try to win more items here as rewards. So you can win, of course, a Void Shard at the end. You can get 2100 points. Now, a lot of people I would recommend at least going for the Ancient Shard if you have the resources. But if you don't have the resources, don't I don't recommend it. Personally, I'm not going to spend my resources on this because I don't have that great of demon spawn. And then my other issue is where I'm at in my account progression. If I use my demon spawns, I'm going to have to dial it back a few notches to like maybe 16 or 18 of Fire Knight. And I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Now, I could do it with a couple of allures um, and I feel like I'd be all right. On, on stage 20 but it would just take so long and again I just don't want to waste my resources I'm gonna salvage my resources and try to farm as high up as possible in Fire Knight and do it really quickly on stage 25 if possible I'd rather do that with my resources and get the best savage gear possible um, based on my account progression right now so there are some people out there who might want to do it at an earlier stage so if you like your early progression and um, 
there probably isn't going to be a lot of people shooting for this as as you can see here somebody already has almost 2200 points in a day and a half which is a lot in my opinion for demon spawn only but to others out there they're going to think that this is nothing but then again it depends on your account right so i fe personally feel like you should be going for this and trying if you're earlier or mid game uh, if you're late game or just in general if you have a lot of resources like if i had a ton of resources like maybe 2000 gems stocked up and maybe more energy stocked up then maybe i would consider going for this but personally i like to go for fusions so i'm gonna just wait i'm gonna take my chances i'm gonna wait a little bit and i know i'm definitely not gonna catch up because as you can see i'm at zero points so it's not even gonna be worth it for me but if you do want to do it, then go for it. Just make sure you have resources. If you don't go for fusions, then definitely go for that. But um, but for me, I'm not going to be going for it. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. I know there's a lot of people that are out there who haven't subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe if you watch my content pretty consistently. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much and take care.